Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nye, and this is Slay the Renee Way, a place where passionate entrepreneurs can come to grow, glow, and succeed in their small businesses. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl is dropping gym after gym after gym. Today I have an exciting and very crucial topic to talk about with you guys. We are discussing how to stay organized during your small business product launch. So whether you're launching a product for the first time or you're adding to an existing product line, today I'm going to share with you guys how important it is to stay organized and how to do so. And today we're featuring a fantastic tool to help you do just that called X-Tiles. For those who aren't familiar, x is a powerful organizational tool that combines the flexibility of digital whiteboard and the efficiency of a project management software. It's perfect for keeping all of your ideas, tasks, deadlines, different projects, and anything that you're working on, keeping it all in one space and making it super easy to collaborate with others. So, so I'm going to break this down for you guys step by step and let's jump right into it. As an entrepreneur, here are three business launch challenges that each of us may face. One, operational efficiency. Two, time management. Three, inventory management. Now I'm going to show you guys how X Tiles can help us to solve each one of these business launch challenges. Let's jump into the tutorial. So when you sign into X Tiles, this is what your dashboard will look like. Here's what your overall workspace is. I'm going to break this down for you guys quick and simple, and we're going to follow a couple of different tools and things that you might need to successfully launch your new products. So let's walk through the dashboard. Over here on the left hand side, you will see your most recent completed projects and everything that you're working on. You have a shared tab in case you're working with, say, a collaborator or you're working with a business partner. You guys can share different projects back and forth. You have your favorites, any project that you're currently working on and you want to favorite that one, here's where you'll do so. And then we have our team spaces. Team spaces is specifically beneficial for those of us who are in business with multiple different people. And here is where we're going to be focused on today, our personal space. So we have my workspace and then we have my team. Now I'll go through and show you guys how to actually use x -Tiles. So step one and what I always recommend that you guys do is to brainstorm and plan. This is especially helpful if you have no idea what you want to do, but you do know what type of products you want to launch. You just have no idea where to start or what your end goal might look like. We're going to basically create a brainstorm bubble where we can jot out all of our ideas, get everything that we are thinking about doing out into one space where it's nice and organized, and we won't lose them. Because I'll be honest, I've used paper and pencil for this in the past, and I can't tell you guys how many times I've lost a book or lost a notebook, and I ended up losing all of my ideas. So, if you scroll down, I'll show you guys how you can create your brainstorm bubble. You'll see that you can actually click and drag to create as large or as small of a space as you like. So say we need a bubble about 32 by 16. Now what we're going to do is title this brainstorming and ideas. What I like to do is create different colors as you can see for every single tab that I'm using because I want to keep things differentiated. So what you can do is click on this little paintbrush icon here to stylize your tile. So I'm going to create a different color. Say we want this one. Let's go with this gray color. And as you can see, x -Tiles has several different color options that you can use, and I love that feature. You can also make the tile larger if you like to. I'm going to stick with the medium tile. And then you can also ch change the format. So if emojis helps you to stay organized, definitely utilize an emoji. So for brainstorming, there's just so much flexibility with this that I love it. Okay, so now we have our title. Now once you click this plus button, you're going to be able to create different blocks. So you can do a task, you can add a note, you can bookmark something, you can embed like a website that you're utilizing for your brainstorming. If you want to add an image, you can do that. You have all different functionality with your text. You can do small text, headings, headings, quotes, dividers, tables, and other things like that. Now for the media, if you want to save a YouTube video or an attach an audio file, or if you want to create some code that goes here, or say you have a PDF that goes somewhere within your brainstorming, Say you typed it up on your Word document and you want that PDF to be placed here, you can totally do that. I'm such a list girl, you guys. List definitely help me keep organized. So we're going to make a task list for our brainstorm ideas. We're going to click task. Our first task in brainstorming is to, I would say, research the competitors. You want to make sure that you're researching all of your competitors to see like what's out there. So if you're selling a cosmetic product, you want to know what your what your top competitors they're selling, how they're selling it, and what type of product they're selling, so that you're not coming out with the same exact product. Or if you are coming out with the same product, you want to make sure that it is differentiated enough so that your brand is well recognized against their competitors. So we want to research our competitors first. 
Then we want to determine what products we want to launch. Okay, and as you complete your different tasks, you can actually select this and click it to be completed. Since our product launch should be timed or you should have some sort of deadline in place, another thing that I love about X Tiles is that you can actually make sure that everything has a specific deadline on your calendar. So let's say we want to research competitors by this Wednesday, May 22nd. May 22nd, this part of our project should be completed. And determining what products we want to launch, say we'll give ourselves to that following Friday the 24th. Another thing that you can do is assign the task to different members of your team. So right now it's set as me. But if you have other members of your team, you could click in here and you could click your other team member to make sure that they are getting assigned that task. Another thing I want to show you guys is that at any point, if this bubble seems to be too large, you can adjust that. Now, if you scroll to the top of this, you can see that you can have a cover for each one, each and every last one of your different projects that you're working on. They can have a cover. So let's go ahead and change this cover. This house also allows you to use Unsplash where you have tons of different copyright free images that you can use. Or if you have your own images, you can also upload those here. But let's look for, let's look at a cosmetic product. Since this is a cosmetic product launch, as you can see, here are the different options that you can use. So we are going to go with, you can click reposition if you want to reposition it. I'm going to leave it like that because at least you can tell that there is a product up at the top. Something else that you should note is you can have different tabs open at the same time within one project. So you don't have to completely fill up one screen with all of the different tiles. You have different options to create new tabs along the top here. So as you can see, we have our launch checklist tab. We have general tasks, which will include all of our to-do projects, things we're working on throughout this product launch. You have your marketing sprint. This is completely set up and organized in a completely different way with cards. In all of your workspaces, you can also add a calendar into every different workspace. So I'll show you how to do that. If you click the plus button up at the top, it says add a view. What you want to do is select either a gallery, a board like what you see here, a table or a calendar. We need to add a calendar into this board. So what we'll do, we'll click the calendar tab and we'll click by date created. Now you have a calendar that shows you what you're doing. Every single tab that you have open, you can add in the calendar if you need to. We can click back over to our content. Within the content tab, you guys, there's so many different things that you have to do with a product launch. But one of those things could be you have to have different images and videos that go along with your project. So as you're launching your product, you should be snapping photos as you're creating this product to keep all your photos organized and to put them in the right category as to when they're to be posted. This is why our board is really, really helpful. So we have a tab here that says images and videos and you're going to be doing different things with all of these images. One thing as a small business owner you should know is that you should reduce the amount of content that you're actually having to create by repurposing content. And with X Tiles, this is the perfect space to do so. If you open up this seasonal lookbook photo shoot, you know exactly what this lookbook photo shoot is about and what you're trying to portray. There's going to be images. It was created on September 14th. And this is different brand materials. And within that, if you click the plus button like I showed you earlier, you can scroll down and find an image link. And you can link all of the different product photos that go along with that photo shoot. Same thing with your social media. Since we are launching a product, we're going to be doing a ton of different pro a ton of different posts across all of our different social media platforms. So what I like to do is to keep them organized into separate boards. So here we go. We have our social media product showcases. If we're doing a buy one get one free post. If, if you're doing style ins inspiration. If you're trying to show how to use your products in everyday life. Here's where you can do all of that. And you can upload the product photos into each one of these different links here. Same thing with your website. Website banners, different landing pages and such. All of that stuff can be placed into here. This is all our marketing, so we're still in our marketing tab. Now if we go over to our social media calendar, I love how you can organize all of your different posting and when they should be posted, on what platform they should be posted, and what type of content it is, whether or not it's a brand content or if it's just a product, all of your keywords that go here. So this is an example of a table that has been created to, sh to show you all of your different social media content and how you're going to be posting that across all of your platforms. For our TikTok post today, we want to show, show using the body butter. At what time do we want that post to go up? We want it to go up at 5 o'clock p.m. On what date? May 23rd. When you're using all your different hashtags, something that I love is that you can keep them all organized so that when you go to post, you can just copy and paste it and upload it to your TikTok. Down here, we have everything that's already been posted. 
And say you have things that are just in draft or something that you wanted to post, but you don't know where to put it yet. Here you can do that. This really helps us to stay organized because like I said, since we are doing a product launch, all of your ideas cannot remain in your head. You need to see it visually. And something I love about X Tiles is how visual it is. Something I love about X Tiles is how visual everything is with the colors, the tables, the calendars, the different tabs, your tiles, your boards. And just making sure that you can organize everything and see it visually it will help you. Over here we have our notes and mood board. Something that I want to talk to you guys about is a mood board with your product launch. I'm sure I've talked about this on this channel before, but here is where you can do it all in one space. You can gather different inspiration pictures for a specific social media post or the product that you're trying to create. So say we're going with an earthy tone, very outdoorsy, but very modern and feminine feel for our new body butter or body scrub. We can go to Pinterest or go to unsplash.com. Find a bunch of different free product photos that match our aesthetic. And like I said, you can drag them and place them in here. All you have to do is create your space, click image, and type in what you're looking for. We're looking for a cosmetic image, and boom, now we've added our image. Since we already have three different color icons up here, if you wanted to copy and paste something, all you have to do is click those three tabs and click the duplicate button. Or you can hit control D and you can duplicate this. I really love this because as a visual person and an entrepreneur who has so many different ideas, I like the mood board aesthetic that goes within the product launch just so that you keep everything in a simplistic way. And you know for sure that you're going to be able to execute it because you have everything organized into your tabs. And then lastly, we have the team. So this is for those of you who might have a photo editor, a photographer, a videographer, or a marketer. You want to have all of your team listed out in a specific... It's really important to have all of your team members included in this product launch. And if you need the information, you have it all listed here. So for example, we have Mia, who is the designer. We have what she does and how she assists us within our product launch. And that just goes for entrepreneurs who are trying to create an easy to work with space for you and all of your team members. So now that I've shown you guys how to work within your product launch, let's go back out and I want to show you another different way that you can utilize X tiles to help you stay organized during your product launch. Something else that you're definitely going to need when you're launching a new product is the utilization of your sales and inventory. Every entrepreneur purchases products and has to ship those products out. But how do you keep track of everything that you're purchasing and what it's what it's for, how many you have of it, and how many are sold, etc., etc.? You can use X House to do just that. Here's an example of a sales and inventory workspace. I'm going to show you guys this template and talk to you how to use this for your small business product launch. So the first thing that we want to go through is an inventory tracker. All you have to do is create your different table. The first thing you would do is create your table and you would list each different title of the table based on what your business is. So you can have your name of your product, the size, if you are utilizing it for size. Um, since we are doing cosmetics, I'll change this to, we'll say Shea Butter. Size can be, we'll change that to 8 ounce. Our SKU number, so if our body butters come in a SKU number when you're ordering bulk, you definitely have a SKU number on the back of your products. You can change that SKU number. What collection is this going for? We're launching a body butter for the summer. How many do we have on hand? We have about 25 on hand. How many do we have on order? 115. The stock alert, which will let you know how many you have in stock or if you need to order more. Right now we have them in stock and they're in transit expected to be delivered by this date. Where did we purchase it from? Here's the link to where you purchased it from. This is a game changer because I'll tell you, for example, I used to write all of these things down in a journal just trying to keep track of it. But having to go back and erase and scratch out and maybe use whiteout to do that was a hassle. So using X tiles is an easier way to keep track of all your sales and inventory. If you click over onto your own on hand total products, if you click over, you can look at each different each different tab within that table in a different way. You can see your on hand total products. You can see your stock alert. You can see the expected delivery and if you have more tabs that you need to add, all you have to do is click this plus button and add that in. Same thing with your suppliers. So within being an entrepreneur, there are going to be tons of different suppliers that you're utilizing, especially if you're selling cosmetics. We use different product we use different product suppliers for different products that we're launching. So how do you keep track of all that information? Here is where you can list in this table all the different names of your suppliers, the product that you get from that supplier what their phone number is, their email, and their website. 
totally going to help you stay organized and keep all the information in one space. Same thing with your sales pay book. So one thing that I've talked about on this channel is trying to keep track of your ideal customer and who you're actually selling to. Here's where we're going to do that. So we want to keep our customer profile. You can describe the demographics of your customer, their background, and different things about the customer that will help you know who you're selling to and make sure that product is specifically targeting that customer. This is called a customer profile and I love that we can utilize that within this sales and inventory X tiles tab. You have their different motivations, their frustrations, and what you aim to do to alleviate those frustrations. So for someone who's looking for cosmetic products, their frustration typically will be having dry skin, having a product that doesn't last all day, or is not as moisturizing. Those are going to be the frustration, aka pain points, that you, the entrepreneur, want to minimize. Their challenges, their preferred brands, their buying behavior, and how can we help them to solve this problem. This this tab right here is absolutely crucial to making sure that your product launch goal is successful. So do not skip out on making sure that you know your buyer's profile. And lastly, we have our sales team. Again, once again, this is only for those of us who are working in teams within our product launch. You want to include all of your different team members. What their goal is to assist you with this product launch and all the information in case you need to reach out for any reason. Staying organized during a small business product launch is not always easy. My goal here is to make sure that you guys are staying organized and having a successful and smooth product launch. Using X-Tile is probably the best way that I can recommend that you guys do that. For more information on X-Tiles and how to sign up, make sure that you guys check out my description box below. Click those links to sign up and get started with your product launch today. If you have any questions on how to go about doing your business product launch, you guys can also contact me and my link in my description box. I have consultations available and I would love to talk to you. And we're going to end this video off by wishing you guys all a successful product launch. And I hope that X-Tiles is able to help you as X-Tiles is able to help me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more YouTube videos related to small business product launches or just how to grow your small business in general. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.